Hey there folks, welcome to Goodworks Tractors. If you haven't checked out our website yet, make sure you head on over to goodworkstractors.com. Also go ahead, hit that subscribe button below and give us your feedback. We wanna hear your, your comments and see your uh, thumbs up and thumbs down on the video. Let us know what we can do different or what you wanna see. So today we're gonna to go ahead and go over uh, different hydraulic options uh, for your tractor, what they are, kind of just explain the different valves here, uh, what you would use each type for, and how you can get these things configured. You're gonna see this is on a John Deere 3046R. Kind of see that number down there. Uh, this is my own personal tractor I've had outfitted, so um, it does, I am fortunate to have quite a few options on here. Um, so we'll go through those here and you can see what they're gonna do and how they're gonna act. So anyways, uh, we're gonna start out with the uh, electro-hydraulic third function, which is gonna be controlled with a little thumb control here. Get that around there so you can see. So you put your thumb on there, you can push up or down uh, to control whatever action is gonna be. Right now I have it hooked up to control the rotating chute on my snowblower here so it can rotate left or right uh, to throw the snow. Okay, so that is actually gonna be plumbed right back here to uh, this, this outlet right here. That's my third SCV. And what an SCV is, is a selective control valve. So why is this the third one? Well, that's because the first two are right down underneath here. Uh, let's see, here we go. They're gonna be all plumbed right down here, right up over to here into your quick disconnect. So get your standard four, you can see them there, four in a row, quick disconnects, okay? These are, uh, each set of two is gonna be one SCV or one selective control valve. So one of these is gonna control the up down motion of the loader. And then the other uh, set there is gonna control the curling and rolling of the bucket, all right? You can see up here, I've got another set of remotes. These are quick attach right here. And these are actually plumbed in to that third SCV as well, okay? And you'll see, you can follow the hoses around and come up and we'll take a look here on the front side. And they're actually gonna pop out right here, okay? So this is what I would consider grapple ready. So if you had a grapple on the front here, if I took the snow pusher off, I could pop a grapple on and just plug right in there and then control the open and close motion of the grapple jaws uh, with this thumb control, which is very nice. You will see lo uh, older versions of the tractors that don't have this option available. You're gonna instead have a separate lever that's mounted somewhere down in this area typically that you'll control the open and close function of the grapple with that lever. So uh, actually the hoses for that are hanging right here loose, again, because I do have my um, snowblower hoses that are connected right now. So to this cylinder, where is it at? Uh, this cylinder right here that you can see, okay? Next up, we have the fourth and the fifth. That's gonna be these two uh, SCVs right here, all right? And so to control these in my setup that we have right here, I have what's called a diverter kit. This is an electric diverter kit. And so when I engage this with the tractor on, I would push it that way, and this green light would light up. Um, it's going to divert the flow from my loader functions up here to whatever I have plugged in in those fourth and fifth valve. And I would use my joystick right here to control the action of the fourth and the fifth valve. And so what I have hooked up to these right now, uh, one of these is gonna be, we can follow these hoses here, gonna be to the deflector angle of my snowblower. So if I want to adjust the pitch of that uh, one way or another, I would engage the electric diverter kit, and then I would use uh, the function of the loader, either forward or back, the joystick I should say, and it's gonna adjust the pitch there. The other valve is hooked into my, uh, uh, my hydraulic top link right here, okay? And so that's going to adjust the pitch uh, forward or back of my eye match that I have, as well as anything I have attached to the the eye match on the three point hitch there. So that's going to adjust the angle there. Um, you can see right now I also have a hydraulic side link. Well, I don't have any plugs for that uh, at the moment, so I've got those just strapped up here, uh, you know, just unplugged there and, and just ready to to go if I need to. So I would just unplug um, this these two hoses here and then plug those in. So. You can, I'm told, get diverters or splitters for your uh, for your valves. So I haven't seen that. A lot of things I haven't seen in life, but uh, so it could be out there. I might be able to even find a way to um, plug everything I have here in and, and operate it. So, but it's 
a bit of a, a tangled mess as it is right now. So I don't know if I need anything else back there. All right, next up, we're gonna have what's called Power Beyond. That's gonna be um, right here. And then you can see right back here too. So Power Beyond is gonna be a different type of SCV. It's actually not an SCV. It's, it's just gonna have continuous flow when you have something plugged in. What you're gonna see this most commonly used for is gonna be a backhoe. Um, think about it, a backhoe has its own controls. If you're sitting back here, it's gonna have your own controls that you're operating the boom and the bucket with. Um, it's gonna have to be something that has its own controls on it because you can't use the loader joystick over there uh, to control whatever's plugged into uh, the power beyond hydraulics, okay? And it's just a case return flow that's back down there that a lot of attachments have uh, for them. We're gonna go ahead and fire up this tractor here and I'll show you some of these uh, functions in action here. You can see the, the chute rotate back and forth, the deflector go up and down um, and whatnot and, and how I control those with the joystick here. So here we go. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and use the third function right here to rotate the chute. Okay, now I'm gonna engage the diverter kit. See it's lit up there. And we're gonna go ahead and, and, and move this joystick. So I'm adjusting the pitch there with that hydraulic top link. You can see the cylinder moving in and out, okay? Now if I go left to right, watch that um, deflector angle change, okay? Move it that way to adjust, or the other way. All right, and you can pop right back out. Well, you'll notice when I'm engaged like that, the loader is not moving, okay? Nothing's happening with the loader. That, that flow is directed back to the other functions back here. So to get out of that, pop back out, and we're back to operating the loader like we normally would, okay? All right. Well, I hope that gives you a good idea of what uh, tractor hydraulics are all about. Uh, hydraulic options, rear SCVs, tractor remotes. You'll hear it called a lot of different things. Um, so hopefully this explains a little bit or gives you a visual of the different options, the different configurations, how you can set things up on your tractor. This is certainly not the only way to set things up, but this is how mine is set up right now. Again, I do have this electric diverter kit right here that does control uh, the other functions. Um, so hope that helps. Again, visit goodworkstractors.com. Take a second, subscribe to our channel below, and make sure you give us your feedback. Thanks for watching and have a great day.